Hi, for question number four, the masses in grams of a certain type of plum are normally distributed with mean, mu and variance uh, sigma square. The masses m grams of a random sample of 150 plums of this type were found and the results are summarized by summation of m is equal to 9750 and summation of m square 647,500. For the first part, calculate unbiased estimates of the population mean and standard deviation. Second part, uh, calculate a 98% confidence interval for mu. Two more random samples of plums of this type are taken and a 98% confidence interval for mu is calculated for each sample. Find the probability that neither of these two intervals contain mu. Now then, for the unbiased estimates of the mean. So it's called unbiased estimate of the mean mu is going to be 9750 divided by 150. So let's take it out on our, computer, on our calculator here. So that's going to give us 65. Here we are. For the second part, we need to calculate an unbiased estimate of the variance. Now, to be able to do that, um, unbiased estimate of the variance. And we can use n over n minus 1 times uh, the summation of x squared over n minus the mean to the square. Alright, so, and, uh, yeah. So let's, uh, let's do it. Alright, uh, 150 divided by 149 times summation of x squared has been given as 647,500 over 150 minus the mean 65 to the square. So, if we do that, 647,500 divided by 150, this much minus 65 to the square, that much. Okay, and then so we're going to take 150 times 91.666 and so on, and all divided by 149. So. And here we are, so that's going to be 92.281872.81879 2.81879 and so on. So we can confidently say 92.3 and that's going to be an unbiased estimate of the population variance. Now for the second part we need a 98% confidence interval. Now what is the formula for confidence interval? So we're going to take the mean and plus or minus the z value of the square root of the variance over the standard deviation, I mean of the value n. So to be able to find the z value, first of all let me just um, show you an illustration here of what is 98% confidence interval. So this is going to be like, let's just say 98% here. So I need these uh, values of Z here. So how are you going to calculate this? So you can plug it in on your calculator. 1 minus 98%. It's going to give you 0 0.2 and we have uh, like a two tail, if I may say that, divided by two. So it's going to be an area of 0 0.01 over here as well. And what is 1.0? And the cutoff value would be at 99, 0 0.99. So that's the Z value. So Z is going to be uh, plus or minus the inverse phi of um, 0 decimal double nine. So let's check this out from our table. And um, so let's bring this here. 0 0.99. So that's going to be 2.3 2.326. Alright, so Z is going to be plus or minus 2.326. Okay, 
So let's do it. The mean has been found to be 65. So we're going to take 65 plus or minus the z value 2.326 times uh, all of that, the square root of the variance, and the variance was found to be 92.2818. I'm going to take like uh, five decimal places to be a little bit more accurate. So 28188 and all of that divided by 150. Okay, so that's gonna let's uh, do this now. Um, I'm gonna say 92.28188 um, over 150, and uh, okay, so so 92.28188 divided by 150. Yeah, that's fine. And then take the square root of that, you're going to get this much, times 2.326. Alright, so 1.82441. So 1.824221. And if you add 65 to this, it's going to be 66.8. So we have then 66.8 would be the upper uh, limit and the lower limit is going to be 65 minus 1.824221 63.2 let us say all right 63.2 so 63.2 to 66.8 is going to be the mm. confidence 98 percent confidence interval all right Okay, so that means I am 98% confident that my mean is going to fall between these two extreme values. For the last part, we were told that uh, two um, plums were taken, and we need to find the probability that these two probability that the two plums do not contain the mean mu. Remember the mean has a 98% confidence interval. So outside, that means outside mu, we're going to get 1 minus 98%, which is then 0 0.02. And we've got two of those, so 0 0.02 times 0 0.02, because uh, that's the probability that they won't fall within the 98% confidence interval. So 0 0.02 to the square, which gives us 0 0.004. So the answer should be this. Then. Here we are. This question number four is taken from June 2013, Advanced Level Maths, HSC, S2. Take care.